Hi everyone, it's Louise from Sunshine Parties and today I'm going to be looking at the key differences between Cordial and Canva. Now I know a lot of people get confused between the two platforms and I'm not sure which platform to use when they are designing and selling editable products. So let's have a look at the key differences. First of all, let's take a look at what Canva is or more like what it is not. So Canva is a tool for non-designers, okay? A tool for non-designers. So there is no skill required in using Canva. It is a drag and drop interface, a what you see is what you get, or WYSIWYG editor. So it's a very intuitive interface for people to use. And I guess that is why it is so popular. So no skill required. And the people that would be using Canva are those people that are wanting to get a wide variety of designs, templates, graphics for free, quickly and easily. Okay, so an example would be, let's just say you wanted to make a last minute invitation or you needed a graphic for a presentation that you were doing at work or you needed to make a poster for your community running club. You could do that quickly and easily without being a designer because this interface is so easy to use. Let's have a look at what Causal is. Now, Causal is not a design platform. It is a editing platform. And even if you had to Google what is Causal, it'll tell you it is an editing platform. So this allows you to take a design that you might have created in something like Adobe Illustrator, upload that as a JPEG, and then in Causal, you could add editable fields. So say you were doing an invitation, you would upload the um, sort of the background design of your invitation and then add editable fields to that. So those editable fields would then be the fields your customer would use to customize their invitation. So now let's have a look at the Causal process. First of all, let's just say you're, you had a product listed in your Etsy shop, okay, you were selling. A person could try that product before they bought it, if, if you had posted that product on Causal, okay? So it's on Etsy, but remember, Etsy is where you're selling the product. Causal is where you are hosting your editable product, okay? It's sitting there on their servers. So they could get a demo link, try the design. If they like it, then they would purchase that product. The next step would be that Causal would email your customer a product link. They would then log into Causal using that link and they could edit and customize their product. Now at this point, I as the seller could jump in and actually help a customer with their order if they needed any help and I could also see when they had completed their edits and downloaded their product. So that is wonderful, um, that whole management dashboard on Causal is very useful for a seller. The next step would, they, would be that they could choose whether they wanted uh, to download and save their product as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF. And then the last part would be actually to download it to their computer and then print it if they wanted to. Now, the Canva process looks slightly different. First of all, Canva does not offer a demo link, so that would not be available um, through your Etsy shop. They could not try before they buy. So they would have to be really happy with your template to make that purchase. So they would purchase your product. Then you would need to manually create a PDF with the template link in it. Okay, so this is a part of the process that Causal does for you. So if you're selling and creating a whole lot of products, this is one step that you do not need to be doing. So again, so if you, if you are selling editable products, Causal is your best choice because it is taking away this burden, some step right here. So this is the manual process that you would have to do if you are using Canva. So again, now customer would log into Canva, they would edit and customize the design, choose a PNG, JPEG or PDF, and then select to download or print. Now, the downside of Canva is that they could share your template as the seller, they could share your template with anyone, okay? They could, they could do that. It's not to say that they would or will, but 
they could distribute your template to all of their friends, okay, who would not have to purchase that. So that is a downside here. There is no management dashboard. You cannot log in to Canva and help someone with their edits. You can't check on their progress and whether they've completed their edits. So that is a downside of Canva. So what is the final verdict when it comes to Causal or Canva? And to me, it just depends on what you are going to be creating. If you are creating and selling designs with editable fields, the hands down winner is Causal. It's just a more professional and efficient way of creating and selling designs with editable fields. It has a management dashboard, so you can log in, you can help customers if they need it, you can see if they've downloaded the product or not, they get a try before you buy it link, um, they also get the email link sent directly to them. So all of those aspects of Causal help make that process very seamless. Now, if you just wanted to create designs for personal or business use, you wanted to create designs on the fly and you weren't a designer, then I would hands down use Canva. So I hope the video has helped you to learn the differences between the two platforms and you are able now to make a better decision as to which platform to use. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to learn more about creating and selling your own digital products, then sign up to my newsletter using the links below.